Welcome to episode 5 of Napoleonic Total War 3, Peninsula Campaign. Uh, right, so we're about to run an end turn, but as it stands, we have plans if nothing else. So combining two armies, Wellesley's army and um, Beresford's army, with the intention of assaulting and capturing Badahoff, two armies because it has big walls. And I've only got one small artillery piece in each army at the moment. So I need to combine them to get the artillery. I need to blow a hole in the wall. Um, the other unit, Rowley Hill's army, is wandering across to try and capture Mercia. Mercia. Um, there is a small guerrilla army here that have just been annoying the French in Ciudad Real area. La Mancha. Um, several agents recently lost one. And that's a about the state of play, the income I think is going up now. Two and a half thousand nearly next turn, so that'd be nice. Um, got another uh, two turns until that's built. No, the last of the merchant ships I'm allowed. Um, and I think that's about it, so I'm going to run down turn. See how we get on. And we have Stopford, Edward Stopford available. Okay, thank you very much Edward Stopford some point we will no doubt be calling on you for your services. So about the only thing of interest here was this um, quality army decided to sally down into Cordoba. I want them. I can't fucking get to them. Yes. Yes. But if nothing else I'm going to have to come back now and guard against them. Your but oh! I'm doing that I have is our land. March onwards. Exposed the underbelly of Kiudad, so it might be that they're going to just sod off up there and jump me and they won't stand a chance. I'll try and retreat them, but they've got full movement range on me. But handy little guerrilla unit. If I lose them, I'll lose them. It's a shame, but oh well. Oh, I'll live. Uh, okay, so how are we looking now? They're taking forever to replenish. That army is well out of range now. They're in range of various other things, but they're well out of range of Badahoff. So, they can reach. They can reach. Any further orders? Your orders, Your Majesty. left, bugger. Sir, your orders? Waiting for orders. At the ready. March! Sir! So if I attack, they come on as reinforcements. They Lord. should be good. Your Majesty. Make ready! March! Your humble servant. Forwards! Your humble March. servant. I'm getting Men. closer. Forward. At the ready. Make ready. I tried to move. Oh yes, good. Okay, right. Forward. March. Your Majesty. So they got both of their guns. Yes. Who else? Who's causing problems? March. You can all join Wellesley's boys. Ready for orders. And you can come on as reinforcements. Good. Okay, no, that's cool. So, if that's the case, we have our first um, siege. The Lord, prepare for war. Mm, numbers, I've got, got the numbers on them slightly, but most of theirs are citizenry, so pff, whatever. Altogether, so 90 range. There are. He's. It would be be inside the wall. I don't know. Yeah, well, let's, let's see. I've not done a, a walled siege before in NTW3, so let's see how it behaves. So, um, we've got Grenadiers, a line, a light, 
loads, one, two, three, four, five, two hundred, about nine hundred. Yeah, nine hundred um, citizenry. And then, so cool, and I have two guns, so hopefully I can punch a hole in the wall. Right, I'll get set up. Right, I'm ready. Um, I've come over onto this side, so I suspect the reinforcements are going to come on over there. Uh, because we have elevation. Um, there was dead ground over there. And I don't think the gun's range is going to reach the wall, so I'm going to have to move them forward anyway. So I'll move the two guns, you know, forward to about there. Just start trying to pound a hole in the wall. Um, I've got my assault regiments, effectively. Um, in the wood, I'll sort of move them slowly forward when the time comes. I've got two Portuguese, you know, units out just to offer a degree of protection. Uh, just in case they do sally out. I've got no cav. Of course the cav's coming on as reinforcement. Oh dear. Um, I've got Nosy out back here. Uh, hopefully he won't be needed to provide help. But we'll see. And I've got my uh, rifles in there. So the whole sort of a, a, assault units, if you like, are in there. So here we go. shooting even if they can't hit anything. Yes, they can form square. They can't. But I'll send them out to help anyway and why would they do that? Stay hidden you fucking twats. Right, where are my reinforcements then? Oh. Yeah, come on over there. So, my cunning plan. Come on boys, get there, get deployed. Sallying out yet, have we? Nope. Right, give me a breach. You done? Come on. Bloody war will be over by the time you're ready. What's going on here? I thought I'd done that. Okay. Clearly not. Uh, what have we got? Keep him out of harm's way. Mm. Send you over there, that looks scrubbish. Hidden. an instruction to do that. I'm not amused. And why are you doing that? <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> oh dear, 2%. Mind you, we haven't started with you yet, have we? Right, here we go. Gentlemen, give me a breach. And my hidden units are not fucking hidden. Is that it? Is that all the reinforcements I get? 
Where's the rest? Oh, that's boring. Okay. Uh, that's no use to us at all. So now we start. If I move them just a smidge forward, I should do. I might send a thin column to stay in the trees. They're hidden, good, good. are on the scene. Yeah, don't go that way boys, you'll um, <laughs> regret it if you go too much closer. Okay, so what have we got? 8%? Oh Christ. You imagine how slow this had been if I hadn't got two guns together. That was a good move with hindsight, wasn't it? So, who are you? You're the cavalry cavalry. Depleted light dragoons. Uh, you are William Carr. Go and have a yabber with Beresford. So I wonder if you go behind them. Does it does it inspire them to, <laughs> to shoot harder or something? Would be nice. Might as well. If I string them out in a single line, in theory, they're going to make a harder target. I think I might speed this up. I'm going to take a view from here just in case anyone new comes on, because they do seem to be taking their time. And, uh... Is anyone under fire? 32, 40... Oh yeah, you're on the 2nd Brigade, aren't you, there? 216, 220. No one's been hit yet? Oh, that's good. <laughs> we like that. How's the wall doing? 19, but crikey, blimey. Um, <laughs> I think I might spare you this and pause the recording. And I'll, when it gets to an interesting bit, I'll come back. We have a breach. And 33 minutes remaining. So um, I've issued instructions for the troops to all... There we go. For the troops to uh, move in. Um, so they're all starting their march. I've got the guns firing into the breach. Just just on the off chance they might hit something. I don't know. I don't like it. Work by the looks of it. No one's on the walls, but I can't see them, so. Um, Portuguese. Ah. Fantastic. So, spread out. You have Voltigers on the top. Engage. Engage those buggers. And I've noticed that I don't seem to have the option to escalate. 
Isn't very helpful. So, um, yeah. Bit miffed about that. So once they move across out the bloody way, I shall. They've got 90, so they can't hit me. <laughs> Fuck yeah. In which case, uh, that's good. But that said, my boys don't seem to be hitting much either. Oh, it's a bloody hell. Okay. So, in theory, I can sneak up a bit higher without them being able to hit me in range and you can start another breach, why not? In fact, hold on, I've got horse artillery haven't I? No, stop. Yes. Bruh. I'm gonna get you canister in the breach. <laughs> why not? <laughs> See him. That would help. A bit more? Is that asking for trouble? Mm, apparently not. Okay, anyway, let's leave the rifles to amuse themselves. Go on, hit something for God's sake. the cavalry sally out. Uh, right, so where's my horse arty? Um, oh, 360 range, but it doesn't say what the range is for canister, does it? options. Okay. So there must be tricks and that too. Oh, come on. Do what I want. And do it now. So <laughs> there must be tricks to assault in a city, a walled city that I haven't come across. Where are they going? So none of the cannonballs are firing short. You still haven't hit anyone, so it's a waste of your bloody time being there. supposed to do here? I'll stick my lights there. Uh, 
How much closer can I go? So there's a chance I would sally out with cavalry if I were in their shoes. So remember canister shot. Go. So <laughs> uh, So we know they're safe there because the lights didn't get any joy. Oh dear, this is going to be a bit of a faff. I'm probably going to end up just storming the breach at some point, but I've got to do some damage before I send my boys to their deaths. So if I just fire at an area, does any of it get through? Yeah, 132, 251. Oh, okay. I fell on 131. Was it worth it? Turn to solid shot. Right. What else can I do to annoy them, to provoke them? Taking them, but what's it going to take to provoke them out? I don't suppose they're going to really, are they? So, Ooh. are they coming? Sally out. Bloody Nora. 
nowhere near a second breach. And 22 minutes left. How much patience do I have here? Take them into action. So yeah, it's not happy. in there now to do their bit. No one's coming out the side. A few units might happy in there. No, they're just the locals. They're not engaging either. Stop you firing. A couple of units down anyway, better than nothing I suppose. Send the lights out to protect their flank. There's Mosey, you can just sit behind your troops just in case they come out the other gate for some bizarre reason. Unknown to him. Oh hello! Thanks for coming. useful. 
probably on the flank so you're not shooting your own bloody troops. Right. So now it's just a bit of a slugfest and I've only got 16, 17 minutes left so... citizenry though which is annoying okay so we want the Camerons right in front of the breach dare the fuckers to come out okay, Camerons and the light bulbs both of you boys Them? Yes. Now we're in business. Really, your use has expired, isn't it? Good. Bloody shoot, William. Why are you doing that? Just shoot. Shoot. I don't think grenadiers. Fucking shoot them before they bomb you or something. Delightful. There's the Voltigers. Going. We got the grenadiers. Yes, we got 
broken the Grand Duke. Right, we're in business. We're in business. So now, if we're going with a bayonet, cavalry are going to counter charge, because you would. So we need uh, these boys to hand. to do anything with that, so mm, the lines are going, so that will leave us with citizen rain, faulty girls, and oh, they're, they're too weak aren't they really, good the lines have gone, okay, right, I think the camera's into the breach if you would, Shall be close. Come on, boys. I'm almost there. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Just get in there, get in there. Reinforcements are charging in behind you. Our men are running. Right, Pontius Pilots boys, time for you to come and step up. Square, so you can go over there. Let's 
see if I can just crank the cavalry and fuck it. <laughs> I'm running out of time now. Come on! I think it's almost time for a mad dash now. the shit out of you and then and the general's dead that's got to be it surely yes thank you thank god for that <sighs> Badahoff is ours that was a bit of a beast right? victory is ours. Yes, it is. So, the Camerons, yeah, they did a fair share there, didn't they? So, Portuguese, Portuguese. They're not as solid as the Red Coats, bless them. Not bad, though. Not bad. My Dragoon's got another, another bump up. That's good. And Badahoff, Badahoff, Badahoff. Right, so it's there isn't it so i'm gonna want that as well yeah 610 uh do i yeah we'll have that excellent that was a long one so um reckon on that note we wrap this one up now we've got hold of batter off outstanding let's just repair everything do i want to repair that don't think i really need it oh, it doesn't cost anything so one of them and let the boys replenish. Excellent. So, that's the end of that one. I'll be back soon for the next episode. <laughs> right. Cheers, bye.